Welcome back to Taja's Cabin. This is part nine. I am Necrasin. And as you can see, we've got some walls in place now. But not all the way around. We do have, that would be a tree. Uh, we've got walls on the west side and on the south side here all across the front. But I don't have the walls in place yet here on the east side. And uh, I've got about a third of the north wall in place. So there's still some more work to be done there. I'm still stacking individual logs. However, I may have to change this as much as it pains me. I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, one thing I did want to point out was that the logs right here, I had to reposition it. The original one that was here, it was not in the correct position, so I ended up having to, uh, it, it was a little further out. So I had to put in a second row of stones and move the portcullis out a little bit, as well as the torches and the pull chain there. Not a big deal though, just some minor adjustments. Uh, but everything looks pretty good. I gotta stop moving the mouse around so fast, don't I? So we still got our portcullis groove. As you can see, I've got the uh, extra, extra wide on the vertical stones here. I had to move the warrior stone a little bit because of that extra vertical piece. I'm going to have to adjust this brazier as well as this one over here. So. What all's been done here, aside from the walls? Well, some good news. We've got static bottles now, finally. As a matter of fact, we've got static everything now. Nothing's moving. So, this took quite a while. I'd still like to put something on the end of these shelf, on the ends of this shelf. Uh, but this took a while. I had to make a different static for every one of these bottles up here, but uh, it looks pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And also made statics of the saws, these the hammers, the tongs, and these uh, bits of Dwemer scrap metal that's laying around. These are all statics as well. We have uh, over here, the only uh, addition was our crafting supplies chest. But I'm going to have to move that one a little bit to the left. And the reason for that is, and I didn't check this beforehand, but it's poking through the wall right here. So I'll have to adjust that a little bit. But again, not a big deal. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's been anything that's been added here in the basement. I think it's pretty well done. I did some testing here before, and the last time I was in here... It was kind of dark at night, and I don't know why. These these light sources were not as bright as they are now. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but we'll, we'll check it again this time and see how it looks later in the day. But uh, for now, let's go take a look at the armory. Now, at first, it looks pretty much the same, but everything here, the display cases... The dagger displays, the shield racks, the weapon racks, the mannequins, these weapon plaques, they're all hooked up and working properly now. I think I put one weapon of each type into every one of these containers. Well, this dagger's in there, but uh, everything else, and they, uh, they are all working correctly. And I've got a connection here to the, uh, this goes up into the dining room. This was, I talked about putting a, putting something over there. This was a little bit easier. I did have to remove one of the weapon plaques, but this is a little bit better. And it's, it's already hooked up. We'll, we'll use that a little bit later. But everything in here is hooked up and working. We've got the ceiling on and I've added the planters and the, the ferns and the corners, as you can see. Now, over here in the, in the vault... You know, I expanded it a little bit and I dropped the floor down a little bit. So now we have a proper pit. 
This is the gem pit, after all. I mean, yeah, we can call it a vault, but its uh, I like to call it a gem pit. That's what I've been calling it. So now we have an actual pit, a sunken floor here. So we'll be able to store hundreds of gems in here and just get them knee deep where we can plow through them. That's the plan. I don't think it's ever going to get that deep, but if it does, we've got room for it. So I added this little railing here to help separate it, and I put in some proper stairs, and I replaced the stones that were that I had put in here with these stairs, which I think is the same as these. So I think that looks a little bit better. And we've got a portcullis groove in the floor as well. So the only thing I need to add in here is the, the piles of gold, and I tried several times, and they were always poking through somewhere. I don't know how I did it before. So I may have to do a cut and paste, but I'll try it again. But uh, I do want to have a chest of gold here. I just think that looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've got a couple of torches on the walls. And we've got wall sconce here. And wall sconce over here. There's only two, I think just two light sources in here. Is it two or is it just one? I, I don't even remember now. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much done. Uh, the only other thing I want to add, aside from the gold piles to put in that chest, we've got one little issue you can see right here. You can see through the stairs. The same thing over here, right there, and uh, even from this side, you can see through that end of the stairs. This is common with a lot of parts in the game where you, you can see the item on one side, you can see through it from the other side. Even uh, these wall sections are that way. You can see through them from the other side. So I'm going to have to put something there to plug those holes. Now what I might do is put in uh, a, a, an actual portcullis groove. And that's where you put some small stones up the sides with a gap between them. It's kind of like a door jam in a way. A guide for the portcullis. I may do something like that. We'll see. It's not a big deal. Uh, but other than that, this uh, this part is done. Everything's working. I put every I've got uh, here in the safe. I've got a collection of weapons and uh, some armor. So I think I have one of each weapon type. I mean, all iron. I don't mean what material, but a weapon type: dagger, sword, great sword, warhammer, etc. You get it. Even bow, crossbow, staff can't put staves in these things or staves uh, but everything else I put in these every one of these and uh, they're all working the mannequins are all working and the uh, all the plaques are working so with that let's go take a look at the inside and here we are in the dining room and it's just a little trap door in the corner uh, to me, that was easier than going through the door that was over here, then around a corner, and then through another low door to come up the stairs. Just a shortcut. Uh, I keep forgetting to remove this thing. I don't like it because I feel like I run into it every time I come down here. It doesn't need to be there, besides the light source is down there. So, that just doesn't need to be there. I uh, don't think there was any changes here in the dining room or the kitchen, aside from the trap door, except maybe the hanging pheasants and rabbits up there. In the living room, I don't believe there's been any changes out here in the living room either. The only uh, additions have been over in this area. So we have a little container with some ingredients right here. This will be, it's not hooked up yet. I keep saying that, but it will be soon. That's the next thing on the to-do list. But that's going to link to our ingredients container. And we got some bottles up here that will link to the potions container. And I got a barrel with some scrolls for scrolls, notes, and journals. And we've got our Dwemer chest here that will be linked to the crafting supplies. And like downstairs, we've got a chest with some armor in it. That will obviously be linked to the armor container and of course our weapon and staff containers so this is uh this is kind of the this is the setup that i this is this is pretty much what i had in mind i did end up moving the lantern it was over here I ended up moving that in the middle 
and uh, putting the scrolls over there. I thought that made a little more sense to have the light source where right between both maps. It kind of didn't make sense to have it over here. It's like, well, I want to illuminate this map, but not this one. That didn't make any sense to me. So, but that's that's a pretty good setup. I kind of like that. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's been any any changes out here other than that. So we'll head upstairs. I don't have the roof on here yet, but we're very close to getting to that point. Nothing has been changed over on this side. So we come over here. The library is pretty well done. These are the winter hold bookcases, and yes, they're empty. And no, I didn't mess up again. These are custom containers. They're safe. I, uh, I made sure of that. I had actually the winter hold bookcases in here initially, and I took them out because I wanted these to be empty. So if you are the type that likes to collect books, then you've got three nice big empty containers to put books in. And here in the player's room, we've got uh, another ingredients container there. And uh, another potion bottle container there. Jewelry, soul gems. There's our thing for the scrolls, notes, journals. And our ingredients container. These will all be linked, just like with the original mod. And uh, this is a custom wardrobe. It's empty right now, but it'll be linked to the other ones. But this is the actual container. And this will be linked to the staff container. That will be linked to the weapons container. And that will be linked to the armor container. Just like we had it in the original. And this has miscellaneous stuff in it. Because, you know, I did it right this time. So, um, aside from that, uh, I don't think there's been any other changes here. I probably should have watched episode or part eight again just to make sure. But uh, as for right now, the only thing I can see needing to do in here is uh, linking, linking up the containers. And maybe I may put some random books on these empty bookcases. They're a little difficult to work with because when you try to, when you try to stack one book on top of another, they don't, you can't drop one and it just lands flush on top of the one below it. They tend to merge a little bit. So you have to tweak their position real carefully. Uh, most items, if you've got Snap to Grid on, you can put it over top of the bookshelf. You hit the, uh, I think it's the F key to floor it. And it'll drop and it'll, it'll stop. It'll land on the actual bookshelf. But the books you put on there don't. They'll, they'll fall through or they'll go partway through. So... Stacking the books on there is, it's a pain. And you can see, I've got some on here, and these look fine, but it's it's a, it's a real pain getting these things lined up to look normal. It's not fun. I think I would rather make statics or nav mesh. <laughs> that gives you any idea. Um, so, containers, get the containers hooked up. Um, a few minor little tweaks here and there and get some books up there and put the roof on here. I think we're just about done here with the interior and down here. A few things need to be adjusted. Like I already pointed out that container is poking through the wall. So I'll have to adjust that or maybe make it a little bit smaller. Um, I'll still keep checking the light sources to see how those are looking. There's not a whole else, a whole lot else to do down here. Uh, it's just a couple things in the vault that I already mentioned. I think out here, other again, other than maybe uh, tweaking the light sources, and I have to adjust these sconces a little bit. I just need to slide them this direction a little bit. That's not a big deal. You can see how it's pushed into the stone right there. Not a big deal. And the same with that one. So we're pretty much just about done in here. So we got to finish building the walls, put the roof on it. Uh, we got to do a little more terrain work, put the alchemy garden in on the other side, and do some nav meshing. 
and it may also add a stable you see a little bit of stutter right there this is what I was talking about before this is a, a great concern to me this is the big reason why I'm I'm not using Ruby's cabins because of FPS it's I'm at 48 right now steady 48 if I turn this way it immediately goes to 60 as soon as I turn it this way it drops down again the last time I was in game checking this I didn't have the walls built yet so adding all these logs and these are these are individual logs uh, you can see this piece right here this is a three-quarter size the ones I'm using here are half size so this is one log right here there's another there's another you know add them up it's a lot of pieces and I'm starting to get some really unfavorable FPS hits and that concerns me a lot now I can live with it but well here's the thing well I had to keep in mind that I've got a grass mod I've got one tree mod that makes the trees much bigger much more lush more branches and all that I've got another tree mod that adds trees. I've got an ENB, a weather mod, a water mod. All these things are contributing to uh, the FPS thing. But I've got a pretty good rig too. I got an RTX 2070 8 gigabyte video card and a Core i7 8700K processor. I got plenty of RAM. I I've got a pretty solid rig. So the fact that even with the mods, I'm getting this much of an FPS hit that worries me because I don't even have this wall built yet and two-thirds of the north wall aren't even is not even built yet so I just heard voices now it's the hunter um, so I'm kind of worried how much of an FPS hit is it gonna be when I get the rest of the walls built when I get the roof put on when I get the uh, when I get all the planters in here I, I'm worried about that I'm worried about it a lot and I'm actually thinking there's a possibility even though I put a lot of work into building these walls and I really like how they look there's a possibility I may have to swap these out for uh, the, the Riften architecture pieces because then, then I can replace several hundred pieces with a couple dozen pieces and I hate doing that. The whole reason I'm, the whole reason I was building it like this is because I like the way this looks a lot better than the Riften architecture. But if I'm going to be having that much, uh, uh, that much stutter and FPS loss, I mean, you, you can, when I pan, you can see the, you can see the stutter. It's not good not good so I gotta give this a little I gotta give this some thought you know because uh, I talked about adding a deck here on this side I need to put some railings on the front and some furniture a couple chairs or end table I don't have anything on the back deck yet I want to put some stuff on the back deck I was thinking I'll, I'll push this train a little bit push this down in the water a little bit but I was thinking about adding a dock with maybe a boat on it. Um, man, I'm talking about adding a lot of other parts to it. How much more of an FPS problem am I going to have? This is not good. You can see the stutter. That's unfortunate. Look at 46, 47. It's not good. not good well I got to give that a little bit of thought uh, I still have some work I can do inside get the containers hooked up put some books on the bookshelf put the roof on it uh, make a few little tweaks here and there I'll do what I can with the exterior without adding any more walls and I'll have to test it again and, and then uh, at that point I'll probably have to make a decision and uh, I, I may need to boy I, I hate I hate the thought of doing that, but I may have to. 
If I did not have this open world, it wouldn't be a problem at all. Because we already saw it before. I had most of the walls, I think I had all the walls built on the old mod and I had no FPS hit. But because there's so much stuff in here, we've got a problem. Well, I've got a problem, I mean. Oh, I did add the trash barrel since uh, that was taken out. That was over there in the corner. So we've got trash barrel too. And it's clearly marked respawns. So there's no mistake in that. Let's wait a little bit and see how the lights look. Because they were really dark the last time I checked this. I have no idea why. Uh, there was some fog though. But I didn't think the fog was that thick. Well, so far everything looks nice and bright. I did put a light source right here, but it's not really adding much. It's a small spot right here, and that's about all it's doing. So I might try to make that bigger, but uh, I don't know. If it interferes with the other light sources, I'm just going to get rid of it. Yeah, see, it got dark again. I don't get that. It's a lot darker here than it was before. I don't, I don't, I don't understand that. This light's a lot darker than it was. I'm not really sure what's going on here with this. Uh, I'm gonna have to explore this a little bit no more. I don't I don't know why these are darker than they were before Pretty sure I'm not imagining that. Oh, well, I Think that's where we're gonna end it up. We'll, we'll wrap it up for now um, I got a lot more work to do I still got to nav mesh this whole area and do some more landscaping, but it's come along really well We almost have the mod back to where it was before I noticed my little container snafu We're almost to that point um, but I, I really like the setup here. It's coming along very well. So I got a lot of more, a lot more work to do, and uh, I'm going to have to make a difficult decision with those walls. And it's ah, uh, that really bothers me. But we'll, I'll work that out in a little bit. So that's what we'll leave it for now. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Things are coming along really well. It's looking pretty good. So with that. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Have a great day. And I will see you in part 10.